Hi, my name is Ted Mackle. I'm the author of HomeBuyersBlog.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Gravatar system. Um, if you're a reader of blogs, if you like to comment on blogs, you'll notice on many that some of the commenters have more detailed information. They have a picture, you can click on their name, and it takes uh, you to their website. This is a free service, um, and it's really easy to do. We're going to go straight to the website, and that's Gravatar.com. When you get to the website, um, you're going to sign up under the sign up login tab. Um, I'm already signed up, so we'll go straight into the login. It's a real straightforward forward, uh, sign up procedure. So I got my email address and my password. And then it takes just a second to load here. Uh, this shows the Gravatar that I have. Uh, you could have multiple Gravatars if you want. And um, under the account tab, we'll show you kind of how to do this. You'll go into your profile and you put the information you want. Um, I do not need an anonymous moniker because uh, with my real estate business, I'd like people to be able to contact me. So I fill out the things that I feel are important related to me if people were to look up my profile or my information. Um, also, my images, which is the top tab here, I can. Um, add new images and change that around. I do that quite frequently. This is my favorite picture that I took at Cabazon, California at the site of the uh, Pee Wee Herman movie. And um, verified services. If you're a member of other social networks and other, uh, you have accounts with these different services, um, go ahead and put these up if you're not trying to create um, anonymous monikers. And so I've got everything from Flickr to Facebook to my old blogger account, um, LinkedIn, Foursquare. These are various contact points that if uh, I wanted people to get a hold of me, they can go through there. Also, your links are if you have a specific website you want to link. Um, I've got my blog linked straight in there. And uh, custom background. So if you want to set a custom background for uh, your Gravatar landing page, you can do that. I don't really find that necessary. But anyway, let's look at, uh, you know, here's one for Simi Valley, the Vote Simi Valley site. And I uh, if we just went in and, and looked at, uh, you know, one of the threads like political appointments, when you get down in here, um, you can see that the first couple of comments there's just uh, silhouette, no picture, and then you get to Mike, uh, his picture shows up, and if you scroll down uh, further, there's my picture. And the point of this is that um, if you don't want to show up as one of these gray boxes. Uh, you set up a Gravatar and then you can have your picture show up in here. So um, that's how the Gravatar system works. Uh, it really makes uh, commenting on these blogs a lot more fun, um, even if they are monikers and not uh, people's personal information, and uh, puts, just puts a little more face on it. So hope you sign up and um, thanks for watching.